boy! My old self is getting back, huh? Almost killed that bird. Look at that vertical climb, man. Man, I don't want to land. Oh, I love it. Say it again. Oh, keep saying. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Alishan Mao here and welcome to the maiden flight testing of the all new Mars FPV airplane or should I call it a pusher jet? I'm still wondering what should I call it. So let me give you a closer look and uh, get it ready. Give it a maiden flight right away. Now Mars FPV pusher jet is designed by the same talented young talented designer who did the aggressor who designed the aggressor long range FPV plane and many other amazing RC FPV planes. So this is his latest design and it's not on sale at the moment on Banggood. This is what I know for sure. Uh, it's going to be on Banggood very very soon but for now it's selling locally right here. Let me give you a quick overview of this plane. So look at that. This is like a nice sleek sexy jet shape with a pusher motor. I'll tell you my setup later. We have a V-tail, okay, ailerons, so elevator, rudder, everything. This is full four-channel uh, control on this airplane. Then we have this hatch that can be opened for you to install and do your motor and ESC mounting. Okay, then we have this another hatch for you to install your flight controller and stuff. All right, and then finally we have the forward hatch plenty of space for bigger batteries and you can also install cameras like GoPro, brick cameras, FPV cameras. We have the nose that you can remove and change with different nose and here you can install FPV camera or you can, oh sorry I dropped it, oh, come on come back here uh, or you can completely, one moment, or you can completely remove it and use other types of nose which are also available uh, all magnetic you know they just fit easily so different types of nose for different types of cameras or you can just put the gopro right there and fly it without any nose all depends on you yes uh, let me give you uh, the specs of my stuff i have a 50 amp ztw esc in here let me remove the tape so you can see it uh, there you go there's a ZTW 50 amp ESC and uh, I am running a sunny s and I'm running a sunny sky 2814 KV 1100 motor with a 9 by 6 let me bring it down so the grass will not stop your way so 9 by 6 APC prop just for testing purpose and after testing once I put the uh, SNL SN light flight controller on it I will change it with the HQ prop okay everything is ready here we go Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I haven't flown planes or anything in a long while and today I am flying this completely manual nice cruiser man look at that how nicely it's cruising actually I'm flying with a 5,000 million battery and I had to put the battery too much forward in the nose because I have no gear, nothing. That's a cruising speed, man. It's fast.
It's really vast. I can put a 6S setup in this man. Really, I need to locate the 6S capable motors. This thing will fly really nice and fast. My old self is getting back. I huh? almost killed that bird. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, baby. Now I'm having fun. It's been a long time. I'm just busy building my biggest RC boat for two persons. I haven't flown planes in a long time. Man, what a sweet platform. The thing that I am noticing right from my eyes while flying line of sight is that there is nose hunting. I feel like it but after putting FPV cameras then we will find out the real deal. But for now, look at the power of this plane man, almost vertical climb on this. That's just 4S, huh? If I put in a 6S setup, this is going to be amazing. Look at that vertical climb, man. Wow, we. That's a aerobatic plane man it's not for FPV it's for racing huh the speed the performance the agility that was a wind gust right there I believe man this thing flies sweet I gotta install the SN light flight controller -ha! <laughs> and I'm just having fun doing aerobatics with it you know <laughs> the vertical climb the aerobatics man it's beautiful And now, this Mars FPV from the same designer, Mr. Chu, is actually going to stay with me, inshallah. The Dolphin FPV, Fast and Furious FPV wing, also designed by Mr. Chu, actually, which you watched a uh, review on my channel. So I think this is enough flying six minutes let's land the baby and install the SN light and FPV gear man I don't want to land I want to fly and perform FPV it's coming really hot with the wind, so I'll try to land from this side. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Ugh, stay away from those cables. Man does not want to slow down. We need flaps on this. <laughs> Motor disable. Thank you very much, my beloved TX16S radio. Speak in the sexy voice again. Ah, oh, I love it. Say it again. Oh, keep saying. Eight minutes. 
Okay, all right. So, yeah, I can see slight chipping on the edges of the prop. But man, this is what a gem of a plane he designed. Beautiful, fast. This is just 4S. This is the newest Mars FPV airplane kit and I'm going to give you a very very quick overview of this kit and closer look. After that I'll show you what I'm going to put it in, the components. Get it ready and we'll give it a flight. The fuselage, okay? We'll talk about the nose later. Fuselage, I simply love it man, look at that. It's just one piece big fuselage, okay? And a very nice place here to hold it for hand launch. Love it, man. Simply love it. A little bit of kind of winglets or canard type of things that we can add here. And the screws will, and the screw holes that will, that, that are going to hold the V tail. Okay. Then come here on top, we have hatch, forward hatch. You have a mount for brick cameras, okay? You have another mount for another different type of camera, should you not want to put brick camera. And you can see in here, uh, you can easily install your GoPro type of camera right here, okay? And then we have another type of nose, which can install an FPV camera inside directly. And a nose, should you not want to install FPV camera inside, but on top so you can basically remove this little thing and install your camera on top of it okay uh, I actually like this one because it's kind of more aerodynamic okay then we have these little fins kind of canards of fins that will go under the plane with the place that I've shown look at that man that's a big battery bay here this bad boy can take about 10,000 milliamp 4s even let's say let's say i have these two 5000 milliamp 4s look at that they just fit nicely no problem at all so big big area in the front and then we have this hatch here for flight controller they have accessories and stuff Nice, big space for flight controller and other gear. And then we have a dedicated place for GPS. Normally you have to cut it on other planes, but here they already cut it for you. And I told you, the designer is really talented, Mr. Chu. I really like him. He, he really keeps everything in consideration. That's not, we're not done yet. Look at here. This is the area where you will insert install the ESC okay and here have an inlet for the air to go in keep your ESC and motor cool as well and a single motor setup on the back right here now V-tail really looks beautiful because look at that just like this uh -huh. and like this so you can see now from here, as a V-tail, looks really nice and beautiful right here. How to cover it, very nice addition right here, two little rods will go in and then we have magnets so that the piece will actually fit really nicely and will not come out. So this is this. Bar. Now let's take a look at the wing. Small wing, nice, with aileron only, no flaps option. Servo you can install right here, okay, and then you can install your VTX video transmitter here. Nice space right here to run your cables, and you can also install those kind of connectors, wing connectors. Should you not want to run cables? again and again just like Ishin air loader you can add connectors here so there's an option here but I will prepare it with the uh, you know 
simple cable. I will just run the simple cable. Look at this beauty. Ah, oh, man, I love you, Mr. Chu. Really, that is beautiful design. And we are getting away from those swept forward wing and breaky nose kind of tradition or trend. I love it that it is traditional design. Wings swept backward and twin tail, we, we tail and a nose like a jet. Man, one moment. Sleek, aerodynamic like a jet, man. Is this, this is a, like jet FPV. And you know what? I'm gonna put in a 50A ZTW Beatles ESC, 6S capable. And for now, I'm gonna fly it with a Sunny Sky 1100 kV motor spinning a 10 inch propeller. For the servos, I'm going to use MG90S Race Star Micro servos. There are four servos needed. So this is going to be my setup on this plane. Man, I had fun. I can tell you, it's been a long time I, since I flew airplanes. Raining season, hot, and then flooding here. RC airport wasn't ready. But today, flying this maiden line of sight, it was absolutely fun. It is fast. It is very stable very agile very responsive plane now the next steps you all know gotta install SN light flight controller I give it an FPV flight and enjoy some FPV it's definitely going to fly fast and even cruise faster at lower throttle level because of sleek aerodynamic sexy shape thank you very much Mr. Chu for designing such an amazing another amazing FPV airplane stay tuned for FPV videos coming your way so Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.